Well, as long as you're not doing anything, how about one of those famous Shrek roars? Do the roar. Let me set you straight, Butterpants. An ogre only roars when he's angry. You don't want to see me angry, do you? Do it. Here it is. This is King of Retail. We're going to do new manager. Create a manager and get ready to conquer the world of retailing. I, I don't I feel like that's what, what would happen if you, like, character melded me and Elon Musk together. Elon. Elon. Whatever. I kind of like that. I can't even really make Mr. Green. Well, Alright, we're gonna change the character's name. Because it can't even be Mr. Green. It's gonna be like... <laughs> That's even worse. It's a character from a children's book. Cousin Green? Cousin Green. I think that might be worse than the last one. Alright, single store mode, campaign mode, or business school. As the owner of a new store, do you have what it takes to expand your customer base and make a profit? Work for other companies and earn enough money to found your own and go from managing a small store to large retail chains. Can you dominate the city? Learn about the game. So this tutorial. Just go flunk out of business school. <laughs> Alright, you know you're you know you're like not doing so well as a professor when you pump fake crowd sound into your, into your class. I'm the only person that signed up for Business 101. Welcome to all of you. Please talk to the instructor to participate in one of our classes. Please be quiet during the lectures. If you have a question, please raise your hand. And yes, stupid questions do exist. I have a stupid question. Where are all the people? Fashion high, low, and wealth low, high. So fashion low, wealth low is farmer. Fashion low, wealth high is techie. Fashion high, wealth low is student. Is this how we're measured? The kind of clothing we wear? What? Wealth high, fashion high is celebrity. <laughs> Where do you sit on the political compass test? Ah, uh, hipster. Techie, accountant, celebrity. Oh, dude, I got celebrity on the political compass test. As you can see, the chart shows what each segment looks for when they go shopping. Are they quality or money oriented? And how important is it that the article is in fashion? Click to share your results. Click share. I got hipster in the political compass test. What will you get? Zero likes, zero retweets. Zero replies. The story's a reputation with individual customer segments. So there's a reputation for selling the various article groups. When customers go, look, I'm just gonna, sh I'm just gonna sh sell like white t-shirts and like sandals. That's the, um, everyone can buy that. That's in fashion for everybody. Before you start buying articles for your store, you might want to investigate the type of city that you are in. This information is available. All right. Yo, teach. When is it lunch? Article fashion. This explains how stylish an article is. So this is this is the blue line is stylish. Farmer, on the other hand, doesn't mind the fashionability, but doesn't want to pay extra. Okay. Luxury. This is for like the celebrities, right? High luxury. Effort to sell. That was easy. What? That was the class. This professor sucks. That's the most. All right. Managing your articles. Just wait. I'm I'm, not only, I'm gonna do it. I need to know what to do. Stop it. Guys, fine, you go sleep. Go sleep in the back. I'm, I'm up at the front learning, okay? If you want to sleep, then sleep on your desk, whatever. Stop shouting, I'm trying to sleep before fifth period. F. You're gonna get an F. Congratulations on your new store. This is your pre-opening day, meaning you have all the time in the world to get your store ready for the grand opening. We prepared a list of things to do to get you up and running. Is that something in the, is that in the store? Bill's outfits. Oh, Bill, we gotta talk about your sign. Design, leave store, normal. Oh, we can do fast speed? Oh shit, okay, we're not doing that. Buy inventory. Manage articles. Order articles. Clothes. Shirts. Oh god. Oh, uh, what do I get? How about fun and games? I took an arrow to the knee. Should I just have a meme store? Before you open, all deliveries are free today. Alright, give me it. I'm on my way with the articles you ordered. See you in a moment. I'm just gonna stand here and look at the door. <laughs> Imagine having only one shirt. 
Oh, GTA. <laughs> okay, if you came if you came into this store, you are on a candid camera TV show. There's no way this is not a hidden camera show. Or like you're on video and something crazy is gonna happen around you. Welcome, cousin? Oh my name is cousin, right. <laughs> Ah, oh, whatever. Might as well pull the fire alarm. Here's the schedule for your employees. You can assign working hours, lunch breaks, tasks, and days off on a weekly basis. Is everybody only working on Thursday? We all come in on Thursday and then no one is in the store for five or six straight days? This is your personal computer. Here you can do various things. Okay. As well as ordering articles, you can see various stats regarding sales and customers. Use this to analyze your store and prepare for the next day. What is all this? This is too- this is insane. This is the negotiation table. This is the table where you conduct your interviews. When an interview has ended in an agreement, the contract itself lies on the table for you to sign. City regulations allow stores to have- to be open from two to- oh shit, it's- it's uh, it's military. This always fucks me up. I have to count backwards. I don't know what that- I don't know what time that is. Is that 11 o'clock p.m.? No, that's 10 o'clock. That's 10. Is it 10? That's 10 p.m., right? I don't use military time. I don't. Where's the schedule? No, there's nothing on there. Where's that schedule? You have no staff. What? I thought I just had like 10 employees. Where's, where's, Jer, where's Jermarcus? Design the interior. Holy shit. Hold on. Oh, should I just have like, should it be a reptile store? Oh, the store's not open! I gotta open this door right now! Hurry, hurry, hurry! Come on, come on, come on! Open store! Open store! Open the store! Open! Come on in! Buy a t-shirt! Hey, 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 hey! The grand opening of Bill's Outfits! Student pensioner. What is this? Am I, like, making a Reddit thread? What am I doing? Oh, fuck! Somebody's in here! I gotta get off Reddit! Come on in! This is a celebrity. I'm thinking of buying this, but I'm not quite sure. Oh, begin sale. I fuck! Why do I have to do this? Improve customer happiness. Is this guy peeing? Oh, I thought he was peeing. It's... Um... A uh, success rate. Um... And let's... And tell me more. What? Just fucking buy the shirt. What are you talking about? Buy it. Keep bu keep this between us. Finish the sale. Buy it. Thank you. What the fuck was that? What? Are they confused? Why are you confused? Uh, what, are these people not know where they're going? Come on in. This. This is six T-shirts left. How many of you are out there? Am I gonna buy something? Yep. Just wipe out all my stupid shitty meme inventory so I can actually play the game. Hey, can I help you? We sell shirts here. I don't know if I like shirts. Do you like shirts? I don't like shirts. Congratulations, you met the terms of our agreement and we're very pleased with your efforts. We thank you for the cooperation and a job well done. See you in the future. We're on the board of directors, what? I only had to work for one day? You sold three shirts. That was just a drug front. Uh, Hot Topic is just such a Rick and Morty store. I'm surprised that the employees don't do the voices. Like, they should be dressed up in Rick and Morty costumes, doing Rick and Morty accents and, and, and impressions and stuff. All right, all right, all right, uh, Morty. Uh, it looks like you got uh, one Rick and Morty keychain, uh, one pickle Rick, and uh, Morty, uh, and uh, a poster uh, from season two. Oh, have a nice day. Uh, shut up, Morty. Uh, well, no, I'm turning into like Alex Jones. <laughs> shut up, Morty. Uh, yeah, Morty, let me tell you. Let me say Morty. Morty, not a Morty. You know, okay, you know those Halloween stores where all the employees are dressed up in Halloween costumes and stuff? I wish that was in more stores. It'd be so cool if like Captain Kirk was just walking around like, talking to you about merchandise and stuff. It'd be all, I'd be like, holy shit, this is cool. That would be hell for the workers. Well, it would be whoever wanted to do that. Oh, by the way, they're getting paid extra. You're getting paid extra to do that, too. Imagine you're at a Best Buy. You're just sitting there looking at headphones, and all of a sudden, like, uh, like a pirates, like a pirate ship rolls in. 
And they're like, oh, land ho! And they're looking around like, can any land lovers point me in the direction of the televisions? It'd be hilarious. It'd be like, holy shit, there's pirates here. It'd be like going to Disney. And by the way, I heard that this land in particular had 40% off their visual TV section. Floor sign, ceiling sign. God. Um, is it lit? No. That's way too much money. Where is it? <laughs> you can't even see that. <laughs> Sorry, to the naked eye if you walked in the store, that's like a bug trap. That's not a, a display. This is giving me actual retail PTSD. I hated doing this at my store when I worked there. I'll shove. Uh. I'm sorry. Remember, the back room looks like it's an invader zim. Doody, 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 doody. I like tacos and pancakes. Doody, doody. Why, why, do you hate that show too? What, do you hate that show too, guys? You all hate that show? Everybody hate that show too? Looking for shoes. Yep, I got them here. Owen for the Pickle Rick shirt. I would highly recommend it. And you're gonna go for a pair of shoes, too. Yep, red sneakers, you got it. Get them both, get them both. That was a lot. That's like a hundred bucks. Stand and face the wall until a customer comes in. <laughs> okay, is it weird that, like, if I ever ran a business like this, I would, like, you would get a bonus if you did this. I mean, like, I would give you 50 to, I would add 50 to 100 dollars onto your wage, like, for this day. If you, if you did that, for like, half an hour or something. Like, it'd be funny. <laughs> and then when somebody's like, excuse me, you go, ah! You turn, like, screaming, like, you're like, you're, like, they startled you. And I would, like, come down, as, like, the boss. And be like, hey, what's going on in here? We'd be like, we'd do, like, a big play. Like, eventually, like, a, a slime would drop on me. And everyone would like cheer, like the like the the, the 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 annoying boss got like fucking slimed. Yeah, I need I gotta I gotta advertise or something. Manage signs. Well, a sign on the wall, huge. Behind this, say like here's the sportswear. What the fuck just happened? Did I pass out? <laughs> I blacked out. That actually scared the shit. I thought something was wrong with my computer. I thought I was about to get. A weird message or something. I actually had a small internal panic for a second. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Oh, I gotta tell you guys about a dream I had. I don't- I, I need some dream detectives to tell me what the hell's wrong with me. Okay, so, I had a dream that I was driving around with some friends in a car. And we had been coming back from a store. And I was driving, I think, one of my friends home. By the way, it was not in my car. I was in an old kind of beat up old fashioned car. It wasn't even mine. So get near this person's neighborhood. Okay, yeah, yeah I know where you live down here. And when I turned the corner to go into the street, I noticed something very bizarre. It's a small street. It was like a little cul-de-sac. There were maybe 15 maybe 15 houses total on this road. And all in every yard, just walking around aimlessly, lying down, like just bathing in the sun and shit are tigers and lions. They're everywhere. Some of them have like blood all over their mouths. Some of them are like kind of running around. It had to have been like 20 to 30 tigers and lions, at least. It was like, what the fuck is going on in your neighborhood, dude? Why are there tigers everywhere? They're everywhere. And it's like, keep the doors closed, keep because they were like walking around, like almost like if you're on a safari. And it's like, holy shit, like the elephants are coming over here. It was, it was weird. So, I kind of freaked out, and I was like, what do I do about this? I, I, can't, I, I was going really slow. I was going maybe like five miles per hour, maybe two miles per hour. Because I didn't want to hit any of the, of the cats or anything. And I, was, I was just like going slow, trying to navigate around. And I was like, I need to tell people about this. Like, this is fucking horrible. They're, this is a neighborhood. So I'm just like, I got to do this. So I just held the horn down. I was going like... while I slowly drove around this neighborhood, 
trying to, I don't know, warn everybody in the neighborhood, be like a big alarm. I was like, people need to know this is horrible. And I did that for maybe like a full loop around the cul-de-sac. And over on the left side, one of the houses, the door opens, the front door of this person's house, just and it was a lady. And I couldn't really see her because she was kind of behind the door. The door just kind of opened. And she just screams, I'm not going to do the roar. And I was like, what the fuck? And like 10 lions sprint into her open door. And you just hear like, <laughs> like crashes, plates breaking and like fucking smashes and stuff. This lady was getting mauled by like 10 tigers. And I'm sitting there going, oh my fucking God. Oh my God, what the, f did I do that? Did me beeping the horn cause her to like open the door? And did, did she even, did, did these people know that there are tigers out here? Am I, did I kill that lady? And like, I saw a couple other houses like start to stir a little bit. Like you heard noises and I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to kill this whole neighborhood. Uh, what did I do? I was trying to warn everybody. And the whole time I'm panicking. So we got, I'm like, all right, one of the, by the way, one of the tigers was like up looking at the car, like kind of running at the car, like doing like that thing that cats do where they go like, nah, 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 nah. and they like their faces like go like, kah, kah. yeah, did that make any sense? Do you guys know what I'm saying? I can't do that sound. <laughs> that probably sounded insane. That, no, okay, let me try to do that better. <laughs> it's like a, I can't do it. It's a fucking cat noise. I'm a human being. So, but anyways, it was like going after the door. So uh, I just hear this, I keep hearing screaming coming from this lady's house. And other people, I'm thinking, I just think I might have just, I think, did I kill everybody in this neighborhood by warning them? Why would I hold the horn down? But people, maybe people don't even know that there's tigers here. What's wrong with me? So finally we get out of the neighborhood. I'm like, I, we can't, I gotta get out of here. We got, I don't know what to do. So I go, I go home. I go home and my mother, I open the door. And first of all, the weird part about this is after getting out of the car, my friend had a shopping cart. But like, oh yeah, like he just had a shopping cart. Like he was in the car. There were like two or three frozen food items. I don't know. So he's just pushing it. And it's like, yeah, that's what we just did. So we go into the house. My mother's on the phone. She's looking at me. Yup. Oh, um, yep. He's here. Oh, that's not good. Oh no. No. Yep. He's here. And I'm sitting there going, that's the cops. That's the cops, and like I killed up, I like I killed that lady. Like I, I was just trying to warn everybody, and like now I have, I'm gonna go to jail or something. I'm gonna have to go to the, I'm gonna have to talk to like a detective. I don't know. I'm, I'm fucked. And she's just stare, staring at me. So finally, she's like, okay, mm, yep, he's here, he's here. <sighs> and she hangs up the phone. I'm like, uh, like who's, uh, who's that, ma? She goes, oh, that was your sister. She's at the bank. And then I woke up. Let me tell you something. When I like seeing the tigers with the blood all over their mouths, like they would, they had been feeding. I don't even, I don't even know on what, maybe on other animals, on each other. It was probably 20 to 30 tigers in this little neighborhood. I'm not going to do the roar. Like, what is that supposed to mean? Didn't I have a dream before about a tiger mauling a guy and he's like, oh, hold on, I got to get my cigarettes. Right? I told you about that one. What's with the tigers? Why do I keep seeing tigers and lions? That's at least the second or third time in the last year that a, a tiger has mauled somebody in one of my dreams. What does that mean? It means you're a furry. Well, if I was a furry, wouldn't I be one of the tigers? Like, wouldn't I have the POV of watching the people in the car drive around the neighborhood while I'm just baking in the sun? The dream meaning of a ferocious tiger means you don't act according to your expectations. Some people who live around you might be afraid of the way you work with them and you hurt their feelings. Be more careful with your actions. The way you talk to others, be careful not to act on impulse. That's what the fuck are you talking about? Your ego is telling you that you're hurting the people around you, but your ID is telling you to stop seeing patterns where there are none. What that, 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 that sentence doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Somebody said, it means you got to collab with Nyaners. 